Well, hello YouTube. My name is James PFP, and this is not the banjo cast because I can't cast for another little while yet. What this is is a video uh, addressed to somebody who I've been having an ongoing comment discussion with on my channel, on various videos on the channel as it pertains to uh, Charlottesville and the attacks there. My my blue screening job isn't the greatest tonight. I apologize. I, I didn't tweak it out. But it doesn't matter. Uh, you can see in the background here, in the video, I've got a little bit of a list. I'll take away my, uh, even take away my video for a second so you can read the list. But this is a basic breakdown I've compiled using the map that I did in Blender, using the video footage which we did have access to prior to ever finding out about the Red Pump Kitchen. Uh, bear with me for a few moments as we go through this detailed list and I know I can't point out anything with my mouse or uh, right now uh, so don't well I could actually point it out with the mouse all I would have to do is go to another screen here let's try it this way and if I minimize I've already got blender pulled up because I'm intending to use it tonight uh, for this part see if I can't do this without crashing anything so Here's the image I was just looking at. L let, me, let me indicate with the mouse. On the map, which I've compiled in Blender, of the events in Charlottesville, using the footage we, which we do have access to, this is what I can tell about these moments. I, I've already got, I, I should just hide this thing here for a second. Uh, that, that will do but here's the challenger and here is the Camry okay and if I go back in time just a tiny 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 bit I made some time codes from the map to my own uh, for my own benefit and starting at around 620 right here Whatever we see with Ford Fisher will be enough to give us something for reference for. So if you didn't have a chance to take a screenshot of this image, this is the timing, the list that I'm going to be referring to for the period of the video. Uh, at 6.20 on the map, I know that he's going to be at speed bump number one, the Challenger. At 6.25 on the map, He's going to be passing uh, Brendan Gilmore's eventual spot, the place that he's going to be when he starts filming himself. And I know this to be true because of Ford Fisher. Okay? I know this to be positive, sure, true for, because of Ford Fisher. Ford Fisher's video catches the challenger going down across the crossover at least once. Maybe he did it more than once. Maybe he went up and down that street more than once. Think about this for a second. But anyhow... At 6.40, I guessed that he stopped based on known speed, etc. I could calculate his known speed from Ford Fisher's video as well. And I estimated that he went down the road a little bit before he stopped. And then at 7.11, um, from the beginning of Ford Fisher's live stream, uh, on th ongoing, so toward the event at ground zero, at 7.11, I estimate... I guessed that he starts reversing the first time. And at 727, I figure he must be at the speed bump again. And the reason that I put it at this particular moment in time because of Ford Fisher's uh, live stream again, you'll hear it in a second. It's on the audio. It's the, it's the part where she says, there it is again. I assumed perhaps that's the challenger. I have no reason to believe that it's absolutely true, but it's something. And photons are faster than sound. So she sees something and she's really close to his camera. There's no time lag or anything involved. At 1.13, at 7.33, 1.13 after I started this time, I have to stop the car on the map because at 1.17, he must be where he is then. So I've underestimated the amount of time he is up the hill and that's as far as I can push him based on his speed when I'm going to see him 
coming down upon Brennan Gilmore, and I know exactly where he is. So let, I'll, I'll have you look at these closed assumptions down here. All I've got them lettered off to one side, and then I've got them numbered here. A, there's 15 seconds to go downhill and stop at or near the rear of the tundra. And then B, I estimate that perhaps he's 31 seconds to pause and evaluate himself because 16 seconds later, there it is again, is on Ford Fisher's audio. And then six seconds later, he gets as far uphill as possible because six seconds after that, or 12 in total, I know exactly where he is. So 12 in total... Might, it could conceivably be doubled. Um, I mean, it could, he could get farther up the hill than I put him. And I'll show, you what I, I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to start from 620 as opposed... Well, here we go. You see why I started at 620. He's right at where the speed bump would be to get into the mall crossover. One second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds... Five seconds, and he's practically on top of where Brennan Gilmore would be. So that's what I allowed for him to get across, according to Ford Fisher's video. And I think you'll find that you can see him going through in the video where that is occurring, based on just Ford Fisher's video. Okay? Do I do or not have that right? And I've... Just before I started recording this video, I went to Son of Niwo. I went to one of Son of Niwo's videos just to be sure I had all the information that I needed. And we're going to get back to the difference between what we have video evidence for and what, and what other people say, including the official record who is currently saying what's on the Red Pump Kitchen. I have no reason to believe any of the time codes, even the one Son of Niwo says, because Son of Niwo is questioning the, police, the police's statement. I'm going to get to that before this video is over as well. It's going to get long, but it'll be worth it. So, practically on top of Brendan Gilmore right there, or where Brendan Gilmore will, will eventually be, eventually. He isn't there yet, but he will eventually be exactly where he is more or less when the car is there five seconds later, having crossed, according to Ford Fisher, then. And I know I've got him timed right. I mean, Ford, Ford is synchronized. So, next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. That's as far down the hill as I put him, and I'm allowing for the fact that this crowd has been gathering. And look, Rebel Z is still walking towards this line when the car is stopping, in my mind. I've no reason to know. I don't, I've got no proof of this, none whatsoever. He, must, he could have stopped anywhere up here. He could have. And then I say he stops for maybe about 30 seconds. in order to time here we go we see where he starts rolling back there in order to hear what we're going to hear on uh, his video it's on this one So if I go back to video view. I don't know what to think. We know exactly where he is after that 12 second gap between the time she says there it is again or what, we, what do you think when she says that that's during that 12 second period that I outlined in my list of assumptions so between D and E those two that two, two six second gaps that's 
after she says that. That's the only evidence I've got to go by. Now, why was I uh, calling into question the official record as well as any other statements which may have been made by other individuals? I'm going to show you right away. We're, we've got to go back to 620. So I'm going to try to get as close to 620 as possible so that I can go in 10 frame increments. I've got to go three, every three steps will be the, uh, will be a second. So here we see the Dodge is up here next to the uh, red pump kitchen. Let's go back one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's like 20 seconds. It's no six second gap between the time that the Camry is there at the red pump and the Challenger's there at the red pump. No fucking way. How do I know that's true? Ford Fisher. No fucking way there's six seconds between the Camry and the Dodge. That's an intentional fucking misrepresentation, and who did it? I do believe it was Detective Stephen Young. Or at least that's what Son of Nero said. So I don't believe any official narrative according to the Red Kitchen, to the Red Pump Kitchen. I, you can still hear me? Good. Let's just have a look here at what the detective's statement says. Actually, I need to see the OBS thing for a minute here. I'll move over to this side. Here we go. Hey, I could be really cool about this. Ooh, filters, transform, flip horizontal. Ooh. Detective Young, can you walk us through, based on witness statements and the victim interviews, as well as any open source for video surveillance obtained through this course of the investigation and your understanding of the incident that was occurring or occurred on August 12, 2017? Yes, Your Honor. As I stated, speaking to several victims and witnesses and looking through hours of footage from the incident on August 12th, I was able to confirm that much of what the witnesses and victims' testimony was, it was accurate. Hmm. Much of. In, uh, on August 12th, during the rally, in mid-morning, there was an unlawful assemb assembly that was issued. Mainly, mainly the crowd within the downtown area began to disperse through the city, or throughout the city. Most, many of the counter-protesters began to converge later in the afternoon, around 1.20, on the downtown mall. Several, count, several counter-protesters uh, grouped together uh, right, through the, uh, right around the area of 2nd Street and West Water Street began to walk in the large crowd east on Water Street towards 4th. Question. Imagine, I don't know who's questioning him. I wasn't following that too carefully. Maybe it was the judge. At this time, can you speak to the videos that you observe, what, in the, what the individuals in those groups were doing and then were able to observe? I guess this could be the prosecution. They were just marching, replies Detective Young. Seems to be a, and this is confirmed through several witnesses, simply marching through East on Water Street in a celebratory mood. They were... They were singing songs, and there was a, a sense of victory throughout the crowd. Well, that's an interesting one. Could you smell it? Did it smell like gasoline? It is 4th and east of Water Street. The crowd came to a halt. There's a little bit of confusion as far as where they would go next. At one point, someone said, we always go left, and many people started chanting, go left, go left. Well, I guess this is true. At that, at this time, just just before this, a maroon van, a black pickup truck, and a white ragtop sedan made their way south on the Fourth Street from Market to Water. As the crowd converged there, wow! At this time, that's totally fucking not right. The crowd was paused there in the intersection when the, these cars arrived. At that time, no, 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 no. So the detective's not telling the truth. If he's paid any attention to Ford Fisher, he cannot say he's told the truth. Uh, maroon van, it made, it, it, the crowd converged right there at 4th and Water, the place that I call Ground Zero, and these vehicles were forced to stop. 
The black pickup truck parked on the side of the road, uh, whereas the maroon van and the white ragtop sedan stayed at the intersection on 4th Street, just north of Water Street, and they remained there for a few minutes. Detective Young, question. In terms of the route that you were describing, you were able to observe, or in course of your investigation, did you come to understand there were multiple routes involved in the incident? Yes, the group consisted of counter protest. Uh, you referred to some as counter protesters, and then the alt right or the unite the right. Is there a particular side that was represented the group you are speaking of? So he was asked to clarify what particularly stopped the red minivan, the black tundra, and the white ragtop. He was particularly asked, mine, that was represented in the group you're speaking of. Yes, the group consisted of counter protesters. A uh, question When you speak about the vehicles that stopped, the maroon van and the ragtop Camry, uh, answer yes. When question When the crowd was passing them, there was anything happening to those vehicles based on the actions by the crowd? Answer. By Detective Young, no. There are zero reports of any sort of altercations at all throughout that crowd while we were slowly moving north on 4th Street. Question, what happened next? Answer, and again speaking to, although independent witnesses, also independent witnesses, there are, there's a lot of people that were out and about in Charlottesville in the downtown mall that had no, they were completely impartial politically, spoke <laughs> Speaking to, speaking to a lot of them, oh my God, man, they they witnesses, they witnesses, they witnessed the crowd converge on Fourth and Water. Many witnesses, I suppose, that's again ground zero. Many witnesses I spoke to noticed a gray Dodge Challenger slowly drive from the Fourth Street on Market into from Fourth Street on Market from Market toward Water at a slow pace. We know this from Ford Fisher to be true. Ford Fisher clocked him at doing twice the speed of the Camry after the Camry passed over the second speed bumper between the bollards. The Camry was going really slow compared to the Dodge, and there's no way they were six seconds apart. But anyway, and we know this to be a fucking fact by video evidence, and it's called Ford Fisher. Isn't it? Uh, the, 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 through video. One witness I spoke to actually commented that the Dodge Challenger was an unfortunate driver is stopped here on the downtown, he must be referring to notes, is stopped here on the downtown mall, but a good thing there's no one at the intersection of 4th and Water and that the Dodge, what? And the Dodge could simply back up and leave the area and several questions. So you, sorry to interrupt, you said 4th and Water and now no one at the intersection of 4th and Water. That's the prosecution, I guess. Question. I'm sorry, 4th and Market. There's no one at 4th and Market. Several witnesses claim and confirm through video that no one was at the intersection near 4th and Market. No one. There are some people, but no crowds whatsoever at 4th and Market, which is where the Dodge, Dodge Challenger came from. Okay, I, I can go with that. Many witnesses saw the Challenger back up towards Market Street, thinking that the Challenger would just simply get back onto Market and leave the area. At approximately 1.40, as many witnesses and victims described the Dodge Challenger drive at very high rate of speed south on 4th, striking many people and striking the white ragtop sedan. Right after he initially strikes the crowd, he backs up at a high rate of speed. This is when people start to hit the back windshield of his Dodge Challenger. That's also not quite accurate. They did kind of hit him before that. This didn't stop Mr. Fields. He continues to back up at a high rate of speed. His bumper is there's significant front end damage to the, at this point, as well as two holes in the back of the rear window of his vehicle. He backs onto Market Street and takes off from there. Question, in terms of the individuals within the crowd, the initial individuals, the eight that are summarized in the chart, the Commonwealth exhibit, uh, so on, Yes. During the course of the investigation, you come to understand there was a Virginia State Police helicopter was surveilling the events. Yes. And did that video was provided to you in the course of the investigation? Yes. You review that. Yes. Do you find any portions irrelevant or unlisted sick? Unlisted. Sick. The, um, excuse me. That's not a word. Illustrated of the events to what she just... <laughs> any, portion, uh, any portions of it relevant or illustrated the events to which you just testified? Answer, yes. I'm putting up on the screen, Your Honor, Commonwealth's exhibit, so this is the prosecution, PH number four. Understand we would, uh, police helicopter, I understand this, this would move in without objection for pur purposes of this uh, hearing, only the court. Is, that, uh, is, this tr is that true, counsel? 
Miss Lundford, yes, sir. All right. Be received for the purposes of this, of, of this hearing only. Maybe it was the council. Maybe it was Miss Lundford. I don't know. Make the record clear, this video does not show the last time at the bottom, but there is a number here at the top. Detective Young, are you able to see that number? Answer, yes. Question, number is displayed at the top of the screen on the left. Yeah, I see one, uh, 1350 something, due to the background I can't see. Is it 50, dot four, or 50 colon 41? Yes, and your honor, for the record, we're staring, uh, what we're starting at 1350 and 41, your honor. Can the court see? Court, yes, I can see fine. Detective Young, I'm going to start playing the, this first without sound, then if you could just explain what we're looking at. Yeah, now I can orient the court. Thank you. This is Water Street, and this is 4th Street Southeast. This right here is the maroon van to the left of that is north. And to the left of that is north. So that's north, east, south, west, and like I say, here's the crowd that walked from 2nd Street and Water east towards 4th and Water. Start the video. They play the video. What are we able to see as the video progresses? Answer. So this is the point where the crowd stopped and tried to figure out amongst themselves where to go from here to there, which we have video for. And this is confirmed through us watching several people's cell phone video that they essentially gave the police department again, but this is a celebratory mood. Viewed several streaming videos of the crowd, people within the crowd, and confirmed it was a jovial mood at that point. A jovial mood. Yeah, ask Faith Goldie about that one. Question, I have, finally, I've got something good to say for Faith. At some point, we're able to see what you describe as individuals going left. Answer, yes. Question, and it's, if when you say go left, which street do they start going on to? Answer, they turn north in the 4th Street, southeast. Question, when that happens, does the Virginia State, State Police helicopter make any attempt to keep the group in view? Answer, yes. Question, how does that do that? It, answer, it, describe what we will see. Answer, yes, you'll see the helicopter pan out and then, I guess, move northeast from their position that you can see now and will hover directly over 4th Street. And you know what? We can see that as well. It's on the UVA fucking caterer. Question, it starts panning over. Does this video capture the moment of impact when the challenger drives into the crowd? Answer, yes. And is, and is it at 13.52 and 59 seconds? 13.52 and 59, so it's 13.53. Answer, yes, and if you pause it, that's the maroon van I spoke of, and this is the white rag top. Question, do you see the truck? Yes, that's the black pickup truck. A question, what street are we oriented over at this time? Answer, that's the 100 block of 4th Street Southeast. You just saw the downtown mall, and that's Water Street right here. Question, as it gets closer to 59, is this at this back point, or the 47 seconds? Where should we be orienting ourselves to see the vehicle come in view? Answer, right here. Is this for the record you're pointing at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen? Answer, correct. Could you pan out to the vehicle? And then they mention the marked vehicle. Could you, question, could you see that vehicle? Yes, that's the white vehicle right here. That's on Avon Street, and that's the Dodge Challenger. The individual with the hands at the window, question, is the individual with the hands at the window, is that Mr. James Fields? Answer, yes. Question, who's this gentleman right here? Answer, that's Sheriff's Deputy Kritzer. Is this when he was ar arrested? With other people or by himself at the time. He was by himself, and but now he's not. Are these people... Question, these members, other members of some police agency? Answer, yes. Question, do you know what police agency? Answer, that's the University of Virginia Police Department. Question, are they, now are they getting Mr. Fields on the ground at this time? Yes. This was when he was arrested. So, yeah, he didn't flag down the university police. CM, I mean. Question, Detective Young, and of course your response. How soon do you arrive on the scene after we just observed? Okay. Were you able to obtain video surveillance of any uh, surrounding businesses that help with that? Answer, yes. If you're wondering where I'm reading from this, Son of Nemo posted the link in one of his videos. I could include it in my description as well. 
What business, question, what business in particular was relevant? Answer, the Red Pump Kitchen, which is loaded, located 401 East Main Street. Answer, is it an Italian restaurant in downtown mall? Answer, yes. Question, in terms of what you're thinking of the downtown mall, Market Street versus water, is that restaurant closer to market side of things or closer to water? It's closer to the market side. Answer, question, your honor, I move to admit for purposes hearing only to understand without objection, Commonwealth and Zephyr PH number five, which is video surveillance from the Red Pump Kitchen. Court, any objection? Ms. Lunsford, no, sir. That's the defense. The court, all right, be received for the purposes of this hearing only. A question, I apologize. Every time I make the screen a little bit bigger, it goes away, so the court will indulge me. The court, the court will indulge me. Excuse me, I apologize. I must make the screen a little bigger. It goes away, so if the court will indulge me. Answer, or question. I need to do this in, on the screen. Apologize. I need to do this on the screen, whatever this is. is there a was there a particular time you found to be relevant in your investigation? Answer, yes, and again, we confirm through the personnel at Red Pump Kitchen that this, that this footage is off. Answer, or it's approximately 13 minutes fast, but if you fix this time right around, uh, right around 1, 1, just before 1.40, it becomes relevant. 1.40 p.m., playing video and in the video would this be around 148 answer yes and and again just to orient this is this is if you can pause it this is fourth street northeast just south of here's pedestrian mall and what you're seeing now is a camera affixed to the red pup kitchen facing the hundred block facing the hundred block down towards water of northeast fourth street northeast or is the hundred block the one closer to market i thought i was uh, maybe I got it the wrong way around. Question, what's the first thing that appeared relevant to your investigation that we can see from this camera? A, appearance of the maroon van. What time does this happen? At 1.48.40. That's according to the time code on the camera, which is off. And question, could you, I'm going to write this all down now because I've been really dying to see what this says. Because we know for a damn sure that 148.40 is five minutes in advance of Mr. James Fields. 148.40, Red Pump Kitchen, Maroon Van. And you can point it out when it happened. That's the maroon van, maroon van I spoke of earlier. Where does this maroon van go ultimately? Answer, right now, it just goes over the speed bump, speed bump right here, and traveled south to 4th Street into the intersection of 4th and Water. You spoke earlier of a black truck. Do we see this black truck coming down the street at some point in the video as well? Yes. What time does this happen? The Tundra arrives, 1.51. We know, when the, we know exactly from earlier footage when the Marine Van gets to the bottom of the road. We, know when the, we now will know when the Tundra stops. One, one fifty-one fifty-five. Uh, Red Pup Kitchen, Black Tundra. So was he waiting up behind the? Oh man, did he stop before going across that intersection? Was he like jackrabbiting forward or something? This time, the crowds that you spoke about earlier are they for the most part on Water Street and converged there? Answer: Yes. Question, and does this fairly show the individuals who would have been in and around the area of 4th Street closer to Market Street this time? Answer, yes. From watching this video between 158.040, when the van came into view, 148, so surely, and when you get to 151.55, are there any substantial movements we'll see between this time and 155, the individuals or vehicles that uh, in the area blocking the intersection or anything else? Answer, no. Question, I just fast-forwarded 151, and now 20 seconds just to speed up. Let's play it from here just continuously. It would be about, for the court, to no, know an additional three minutes. All right. There's, so, what did I say? It had to be five minutes between the uh, arrival of the maroon van and the Challenger. It was apparently six. It had to be at least, so it's six. The uh, third, third vehicle we spoke of, the soft top Camry? Answer, yes. Question, do you see this vehicle at some point? Answer, yes. And at what time does this vehicle come into view? At 
Additional three minutes, and he says that's 152.50. Buddy, he's squeezing something here, or they're not paying attention to their time codes. 152.50, he says is three minutes. So they're fast-forwarding for three minutes, and they fast-forward for a minute. So I don't see something's wrong here. The third you spoke of, soft dot camera. We see this. When does it come into view? 152.50. Okay, 152, one minute later. 50. They say red pump places the white rag top. And at what point we see, yes, uh, 152.50. And how soon after? Funny question they asked her. How soon after does Miss, Mr. Fields' challenger come into view? Six seconds later. No explicit time code? No explicit time code. And do you know what? There ain't no fucking explicit time code because the time code is later than that. And from here, just have you narrate the actions he does when it comes to the view. Okay, at what point Mr. Fields stop or assist to or render aid or leave his name or any kind before leaving the screen? No, there's the ragtop I spoke of, the Camry, there's the silver Dodge Challenger Fields was driving. As you can see, he proceeds south on 4th Street. Onto the crossover, many witnesses say he made his way. You know what? They were yakking away there, pretending that that was a six-second gap when it was, in fact, longer. And we have saw it on Ford Fisher. I could look at it again if you really wanted to. How long is Mr. Fields' challenger out of you? Approximately a minute and ten seconds. Do you know, I almost agree with him there. Because on my map, I say at 6.20, he passes the speed bump the first time. And at 7.11... Maybe 50 seconds later, no, 7.27, at a minute 7 seconds later, he's at the speed bump number one again. And that's when, is that a cop or not? There's that car again. That's, that's when that moment is. A minute 10 seconds later. And during this time, had the vehicle struck the crowd yet? No. At this point, we've got many witnesses testify the challenger began to back up, assuming he would head back to Marcus Street and leave the area. Quiet in the courtroom, quiet in the courtroom. All right, all right. He needs to go out. All of them. <laughs> Answer, Your Honor, as you saw, that was a silver dice challenger. Drove south at a high rate of speed. All right, uh, once again, anyone else who makes it sound like that, out you go. All right. <laughs> the judge. I'm pausing and starting again at 154.49. And Detective Young, you said the left side at a high rate of speed. So we get in, an indication of what one... 54.49 is at a high rate of speed. That's the first actual indication of a red pump kitchen. Num that's number three. And that, oh no, sorry, that's number four. It left view at a high rate of speed. Yes, many point began running after Mr. Fields at this point and encountered police as they ran east towards police department. And that's where it ends. So, I think that's enough for this video, actually. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'll put my camera back. I'll put my mission clock back. I would like to thank you for watching, but as you can see, uh, anyone who has been following what's going on in my chats, and none, none in particular, as you can see, that minute 10 seconds, I've accounted for already before they ever talked about it. And then there's a little bit of confusion in the courtroom as to what really happened, and it seems like Detective Young got away with a little bit of shenanigans himself, and so did the prosecutor. Agree? Disagree? You, I, I've already showed you that the map shows. Okay? And it's Ford Fisher's audio told me when to put the car up and down.